radish deviled eggs. You've probably had regular deviled eggs at a picnic or a holiday party, but I like to make horseradish deviled eggs because the horseradish adds a little bit of spicy flavor to it and they're just delicious. They're super simple, so let me go ahead and show you the ingredients you need to get started. I usually do about six, boil six eggs at a time. There's my six eggs. And then I use some white wine vinegar, salt and pepper. I'm using some stone ground mustard. You can use any type of mustard that you prefer. A lot of people just use regular yellow mustard. I just like the stone ground. Adds a little bit more flavor, I think. Then the main ingredient, some prepared horseradish. It's delicious. Some mayonnaise, some dill weed, and paprika to sprinkle on top. All right, to get started, I use just a medium-sized saucepan. Just put your eggs in really carefully. Don't want to get them cracked. <laughs> like that. <laughs> and then, I don't know if this is true or not, but I've heard that adding salt will help to keep them from cracking. And I have no idea if it's true or not, but I do it anyway, just in case. So just a little bit of salt. And then if your eggs do crack, I add a little white wine vinegar just in case they do crack. This will help from keeping or help keep the egg whites from running out. Just a little few splashes of that in there. And your eggs are all ready now to go on the stove top. So now that our eggs are rapidly boiling, we're going to just quickly take them off the heat, put them on a towel, and then we're just going to cover them up, let them sit for about 12 minutes, and in the meantime, you can turn off the heat and go take a break. So after your eggs have sat for 12 minutes, you're going to want to start expediting the cooling process. So what you're going to do is just take a slotted spoon, you're not going to want to Play around because the eggs are still going to be really, really hot. So we just use a slotted spoon. Just take them one at a time and put them into what we have here is a bowl of ice cubes and cold water. And it works really well. It's really good about quickly cooling your eggs off so that you can make your horseradish deviled eggs even more quick. With the magic of television, you are going to see me peel the eggs at a superhuman speed. Let's go. and then cut it lengthwise. And then what we're gonna do is just scoop out the yolk into a mixing bowl. And then put the egg white on a serving platter. And then you're just gonna repeat that with all six of your eggs. It's really simple. Once you've separated your eggs, you go ahead and Squish up the yolks, and you can make them, you know, as fine or as chunky as you want. Some people prefer their deviled eggs with, you know, more pieces of the yolk rather than it being all squished up. Okay, and then we're going to add a quarter cup of our mayonnaise. Just squeeze that in there. Then we're going to add a quarter cup of our stone ground Inglehofer mustard, which is actually here from uh, Beaverton Brands, which is just outside of Portland where we live. And it's a great product, and I love using their stone ground mustard, especially in this recipe. And like I said, we're going to add a quarter of a cup. All right. Now, my favorite ingredient to add to this recipe why call it horseradish deviled eggs if there's no horseradish? So we use the Beaver brand Cream Horseradish, which is a great product. 
I add it to lots of different things. If I'm eating french fries at home, I'll add it to the ketchup. It tastes good. Um, it adds some spice, and it's really, really good in this recipe. And the recipe I use calls for about one tablespoon, but because I like the horseradish flavor, I will usually add uh, a little bit more than that, maybe at almost two, ta two tablespoons. Then I'm going to add just a little bit of dill weed. I'm just going to pour it into my palm of my hand. Don't really need a lot of this. Just kind of adds a little bit of flavor. Okay, so we're done with the mix, uh, filling mixture. And what I've done is just poured it into a regular Ziploc sandwich bag. We're just going to cut one edge off of here. So it's kind of, you know, just like when you're doing frosting or decorations on a cake, but we're just going to do our filling this way. It makes it a little easier. It's fun for kids, that's for sure, without making too much of a mess with them. Alright. That's it, and our last step is sprinkle of paprika. And I try not to get too much on here, but just sprinkle. And that's all of them. And there you go, your final project. Horseradish deviled eggs. Super easy, delicious, great for parties, great for events, great for holidays, or any day. Enjoy!